gonna make you a world with these two hands today But I love memories and laughs and all that I create Don't have a fireplace? Don't let that stop you from hanging your stockings this Christmas. I'll show you how to make a stocking hanger sign that's a festive way to decorate for the holidays. I just got these adorable Rudolph stockings in the mail from my sponsor, personalcreations.com. I love that they have our names embroidered on them for no extra charge, but I need a place to hang them. I bought this wooden board at Lowe's for about $7. It's actually a stair riser, and at five feet long, it's the perfect length for a family of five. If you need a shorter board, they will cut it for you in store. I also purchased five hooks there. I chose some inexpensive ones that were about a dollar each, but there are lots of different options. Begin by painting the board with acrylic paint. I'm opting for black for a modern vibe, but you could also choose a more traditional color like red or green. I've decided to paint the sides of my board with a metallic gold paint for contrast. If you'd like to paint the sides a different color, it's helpful to tape off the surface using painter's tape to prevent accidents. I want a holiday message on my sign. You could use stickers or vinyl, but I think gold hand lettering would look really polished. I do a lot of hand lettering, so I would be comfortable freehanding this, but I know some of you aren't, so I'll show you how to cheat at it. Print off the text in the size and font you want. I used Thirsty Script, a free font download from 1001freefonts.com. Trim the edges of the paper and tape to the board, making sure the letters are aligned and centered. Then trace the letters with a pencil, pushing down hard. Remove the paper and you'll be able to see the faint outline of the letter. I'm using a gold pen touch to fill in my letters. You can buy these at art supply stores. I love this pen because it's so easy to get precise lines without running or dripping. And the ink is super shiny. I'm gonna make you a world with these two hands today. But I love memories and laughs and all that I create. show you that you're the reason why don't 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 feel afraid to innovate don't 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 miss a chance to be creative don't 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 try this at home try this at When you're done writing, you can add the hooks. Since I have an odd number of hooks, I'm marking the center point and adding the first hook there. Then I'm adding hooks 3 inches from each end. Measure the distance between the attached hooks and divide in half to find the placement for the remaining two hooks. On my 5 foot board, that was at 11 inches. Finally, wrap wire around two screws on the back of the board for easy hanging. I love the way this stocking hanger sign showcases my new stockings from personalcreations.com. Plus, they also offer personalized ornaments and other monogrammed items that would make super stocking stuffers. Use code SHOP25 to get 25% off your entire order. To see their full selection, visit personalcreations.com. For hundreds more crafting tutorials, visit my website, madebymarzipan.com. Try this at home.